Hey everyone, Steve from Epion Gaming here. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Just thought I'd do a quick video before I go into work, and um, I was working on a new fighter prototype last night. It took me about an hour to cook it up. But uh, this is the new Red Arrow Mark IV. It's a um, still-in-progress aircraft. And I don't know why my aircraft is deciding to veer from left to right. But uh, I think I may have figured it out there. I saw the flaps were up there, so I don't know why it was doing that. The flaps should have been up from the start. So, well, whatever. I'll fix it in the uh, workshop later on. But uh, let's get on to the uh, gist of things. The Red Arrow 4 is basically a streamlined model of the Red Arrow 3. It has fewer parts in the wings, so it handles a bit better. But it, because of the smaller wingspan, it has a difficult time carrying weapons on the, uh, on the aircraft. So at present it only carries uh, two of the uh, Tarantula Hawk missiles on there. And these are modified versions that I um, that I worked on earlier today. And uh, let's give them a try. I got a couple of uh, target aircraft uh, lined up over here. Let's uh, take her down and see what we can do with them. Actually, let's do a quick overpass. Actually, forget the aircraft. Let's try something else. Let's try something a little bit bigger, because I'm I'm guaranteeing you that it's not going to hit a damn thing with the uh, with the way these missiles fire. I'll tell you that right now. So let's try and hit the uh, science building over here. There we go. And as I said in my previous video with the Red Arrow Three, they tend to work better on um, on bigger targets. Until I can get some weapons modded in and uh, have some more accurate fire control, it's not going to be easy hitting smaller targets for a little while. And I still have no idea how best to do it, because I don't want to mess up the game. And yeah. And those bombs went way off target. But yeah, I also had a couple of those uh, bombs on the uh, bottom of the aircraft, but they tend to go willy-nilly every which way. But beyond all that, not much is different about this aircraft from its predecessor. It still has the uh, same engines, the same um, same sort of general um, flight control to it, and um, same variable boosters and the same landing gear. It also has um, an ejection system as well as a pair of drogue chutes on the back to uh, slow it down during landing. Although these are a bit bigger because it tends to fly in very quickly onto the tarmac. And let's get our brakes established. Brakes are on, and let's get ourselves landed. Hopefully without wrecking myself this time. This aircraft tends to be a little unstable at times. It's still a prototype, so I haven't worked out all the bugs yet. But hopefully... We are, we're down on the ground. Still going fast, so deploy the drogue chutes. And there we go. And I wonder if we're going too fast if I had to turn the uh, engines off there. <laughs> Whoops. Or at least throttle them down. But anyway, that's the uh, brief demo of the Red Arrow 4. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll be doing some more videos with this very soon. I'll catch you guys later, and uh, have an awesome day. Peace.